Hello and happy Monday everybody. This is Nathan from Brick System Brothers and it's time for another mini build. So today's mini build is a model of one of the structures on my college campus called the Campanile. It is a bell tower and the real one is 110 feet high. Mine is about uh, four and a half inches high. So I, I went and did the math real quick and the scale is about 300 to 1. It's like 293 or something. And uh, I double checked the base, and the base was close, but it's not exact, um, and it ended up working out okay. So um, this is definitely a mini build in my opinion. Uh, it is a model of a larger structure, and it is also smaller than minifigure scale. So those two things combined uh, kind of makes this just a small model in general. Um, but yeah, let's uh, take a look at this. Uh, I actually built this just out of fun one day um, in preparation for kind of a different model that I ended up doing um, just to try and get a sense of how to do these corners especially uh, when working with some very limited part selection. So let's look at that first. I knew that um, I, I was pretty sure that just going straight up with the 2x2 two two shape all the way up um, wasn't really going to define these corner pillars like I wanted to. And uh, as you can see in the comparison picture, I'll put it up again here, um, there, it definitely does uh, bump out and has that uh, feature. So I wanted to include that. And how I ended up working that in was using one of these 2x2 um, two two round plates with those bars that go up. And then to get the direction right, I had to use a Technic pin um, to fit on the, on the slender bar. And then I could go ahead and put this 1x1 one one round into that pin and it all came together pretty nicely. But then, in between all of those, um, I had to get these uh, panels kind of that reveal where the noise from the bells actually comes out at the top of the campanile. Um, and so these aren't windows, but these are grills, uh, one by two grill plates, and they are attached using a kind of a, um, concentric build up on one of these um, studs that has the extra stud on the side. So four of them all the way around. And then to get that to stick in, I had to stick the top stud in from the top onto a, a two by two tile with a hole in it. So just in the top of this campanile, a lot of techniques going on. And I'm pretty happy with how the, uh, the result turned out. And then <laughs> to attach the top, I used another Technic pin. I don't know if this is a uh, quote-unquote legal build method, but it seems to work okay, especially since it's just sitting on my desk. Nothing really stressful. And then that actually goes into the bottom of that one by one down inside the whole thing. So the other thing you might have noticed right away is that um, the roof of the tiles on the roof of my Campanile are green, while the current Campanile is that um, kind of darker red color. Um, there's two reasons for that. The first one is that I didn't have a dark red one of these cones that has this octagonal cut on there. And I did have a green one. And I guess the other reason that's kind of the same reason is the original Campanile did have a green roof. So I'll throw a, a picture of that up there. Uh, I don't think it's exactly the same color, but at least at some point this was a valid depiction of the Campanile. And the one last detail. Uh, to show you guys is this little bump out at the bottom here, um, which is not as profound as I wanted it to be. There's just not really a great way to make that true to scale. Uh, I knew I wanted to have something there to represent the small uh, circular tower that there's actually the spiral steps inside of there to walk up the rest of the way. Um, clock faces would have been something I had to do on just two sides with like perhaps a one by two Technic brick and then I could get two sides on here with that but two would have to be blank. The other option would be like to make a sticker or something and I think if uh, I wanted to go the extra mile for this little micro model I would try to make a sticker with clock faces on it. I think that would be cool. Um, but overall I'm happy with it how it is and I've just put it on a little six by six plate here for a desktop displaying and it's a cute little model of the Campanile and kind of has extra meaning to me because it's uh, 
popular structure from my college, which is Iowa State University. So you can just Google the ISU Campanile and find a bunch of pictures of it. Um, but that is, uh, that's about it for this mini build. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to build little towers like this, I suggest just finding some good pictures of your source material and just working on those techniques and see what you can get. And it doesn't have to be exact. I mean, Lego is limited in that there is a finite number of elements, and so it's not going to be something that you could get down to the exact specs, probably. If you can, that would, that's really cool, and sometimes it works out, but a lot of times you kind of have to cut some corners and settle, and that's okay. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that, and um, hopefully I can keep this up every week. I've got a couple more micro builds before I have to start uh, making some new ones, and uh, we'll see what happens. See ya.